I have two boys. He's my youngest. He was a multi-sport athlete. He was a terrific student, and uh, he got sick, and it put, pretty much put him in bed from day one. Um, and he's half time or more in bed. He's he's not as sick as many, which or some, which we're very happy for, grateful for, but. Uh, most of, most of what he would describe as his life is gone right now. You see me standing here and I look healthy and fine, but I have such a limited amount of energy to do things. I have a family friend who has a son who's 24 years old, the same age as my son. They went to school together and um, he became seriously ill and has been bedridden for several years with ME-CFS and it's just so heartbreaking to see someone who's so young and vital and has so much promise in life, um, just their whole life derailed by this horrible disease. I, I was forced to uh, move in with my parents and um, and I really have to isolate myself. Part of me having to step down from my position as a professor meant that we had to leave our home of 17 years in Sonoma County. Couldn't afford to stay there on one income. It took our entire 401k. It took our entire savings. Uh, it's, yeah, it, yeah. It, it changes um, your financial picture. I didn't know how I was gonna get any care, how I was gonna keep paying rent, how I was gonna get food and it was actually um, a church in my neighborhood that helped me with rent and utilities and medical bills for a few years before I finally got my social security disability. There are so many people out there that are suffering so much and there's so many young people that really are, are at the prime of their life and haven't been able to live their life and there's so many people who've been sick for so many years and we need to get them better and they deserve to get better and once we figure out MECFS we're going to figure out a lot of chronic complex diseases and really be able to help millions and millions of people.